So we're in uh, the first week of March. I wanted to share a little bit about our seed starting setup. So we, we do have a propagation house that we can heat, but it gets a little a little too cold and we don't have a ton of seeding, seedlings. I don't want to heat the, the prop house just for a few trays. So I want to quick show you my setup here. Just a regular shelf, the Upman Arns. And uh, I have two different kind of lights here. So these are just regular, um, like shop lights, uh, fluorescent lights. And this year, I'm trying some LED grow lights here. And I'm actually very impressed with the LED grow lights. So I actually liked the one so well, I got another set and I just got them off of Amazon. They're the Barina brand. And our lettuce, if you can see here, if you can see they're nice and stocky. They're not spindly. If you weren't getting good output on the lights, these this lettuce would grow really spindly because it would not be getting the light it needs. But I'm very happy with the lettuce and how it's turning out. So these, these are about a week away from putting out in the hoop house. I probably could put them out now, but we have a cold spell coming, so I'm going to hold them a little bit longer. This is our first planting of lettuce. And this is all, these here are all of our onions. So we started from seed, we start a lot in a tray. So each individual plant here will turn into a nice big onion. So there's probably, oh, one to 2,000 onions per tray. So yeah, we'll do that. Beginning of April, those will go out. Here we have Swiss chard coming up. This is a celery. They're just starting to come up. They're really tiny. Um, I'm hoping the seeds are right. Only about a third of them have come up, but they're still slowly coming out. Uh, but I used seed from from last year, and they're pelleted. If if your seeds pelleted, they don't last as long. So I may have to plant some more if all of them don't come up. This year are turnips. This is kale. So yeah, and I have radishes, arugula, and baby kale. Carrots seeded already in the hoop house. Daddy. The arugula is just coming up. Daddy. Yeah. Where's my doggy? Um, I think we had to take it. Do you know why we had to take it? I don't know. Did you suck your thumb? So yeah, here are our beets. And these beets are really nice too. I struggle a lot of times so if they don't get the light they need. I struggle with these leaves wanting to turn purple, but they're nice. They're maybe a little spindly. I think I got them out of my germination area kind of late, so they got a little spindly, but now that they're up, they're growing nice. So that's where they come out under the lights. Here is where, so this is a utility room. The water heater is in here, so it gets a little warmer in here. And so I put it, I put them in here to keep the moisture in because seeds need humidity to germinate. And these aren't coming up yet. These are all of our peppers, all the different tags, same what variety they are. So these we just seeded about a week ago. Daddy. They take usually about two weeks Daddy. to come up. Daddy. But they're, they're probably actually sprouted underneath the surface. They just haven't broken the, the surface yet. And then here is our second planting of head lettuce. Daddy. So we, we stagger head lettuce Daddy. about, in the summer it's about every week or two, now it's about every three weeks. Just leave it, Gabe, just leave it close. That's good, that's good, just leave it. So yeah, that's our setup. So they go in here. I usually try to keep the door closed, keep some of that extra heat in. And then they come out here. And then they'll be going out in the next next couple of weeks. We'll be planting um, 
pretty much that top row, and then April will be here. And these next two weeks, we'll be planting those as well. So, thanks for watching.